what we tend to find is that women who are using hormonal birth control, that they have a blunted cortisol response to stress relative to naturally cycling women and healthy men. And it seems that the culprit behind this is that the body is essentially trying to cope with this by releasing a lot of glucocorticoid yeah. binding globulins, yeah. right? These things that bind up cortisol and make it inactive. And although it might seem like, wow, that's like great, you know, like I get out of jail free card with stress, like, if, oh, I don't release cortisol in response to stress, like maybe that's a good thing. It's not a good thing. It's like, it's a bad thing. Like even though cortisol is bad if it's being released constantly because it is very disruptive to the systems in the body, it's incredibly healthy and adaptive to be releasing high levels of cortisol in response to stress, right? Having little bursts of cortisol release when we're experiencing stressful events is part of what helps us cope with stress, right? right? And learn from stress. And that plasticity that yeah, you're talking about. Yeah, and all that plasticity. Yeah. Yeah. That's just one of the many ways that the birth control pill can influence the functioning of our brain and then also what our brain creates, right, in terms of our moods and our behaviors and even things like attraction. Wow. 